my baby, my baby, just three weeks to go. The rain is falling wildly, but the moon is still aglow. In tomorrow, there'll be sunshine, and the garden will be green. We'll lay a bed of lilies for you to dream. So that morning we woke in Strömsund and we noticed that we had different weather. There's no bad weather for an adventure rider, only different. So we do it. We'll test the Trans Sweden Trail. Our main goal was of course to be in Östersund the same evening so that we could pick up Seymour's bike the next day. And so, so we made our way there, but unlike other ways of traveling, we tried to find some slower ways and detours on our way there. Just recently I had found a new project on Facebook called the Trans Sweden Trail, which is of course inspired by the Trans Euro Trail. It's not just a route through Sweden, but around all of Sweden. But since the project is just starting and the maps are made on a computer without scouting, the community contributes by actually going on those routes and, and see if it's legal or possible and, and, and reporting back to tweak the route uh, to make the perfect Trans-Sweden trail. And since both the weather was perfect and we had the time, we picked a part of Trans Sweden Trail and we rode it and reported back where it was working and where it was not. And in the evening we made Östersund and found the warmest garage in Sweden, which was perfect to dry all our stuff after a rainy day. Today får Seymour sin motorcykel igen. Vi packar hojarna igen. Och så ska vi dra över fjället på Funesdalen där borta eller mot Funäsdalen över Flatruven tror jag det heter. Kan det vara så? Det blir fint. Nu åker vi hämta här. Så so that day we made a small base camp at Yamaha Center in Östersund where we could uh, repack our bags and, and prepare for the journey with four people in the pack. Vad får du upp den här i då? Jag var inte köpt den några veckor sedan och jag har bara mätat på den hittills och inte testat den. Nej, nej, nej. Kör lite runt på gården bara. Just det. Äntligen, säger man. And finally, all the four of us could hit the road again on our bikes. We only had a few hours left that day and the weather was getting even more adventurous. So we decided to make this leg a little shorter so that we could start tomorrow with uh, better weather where we would go the scenic route over Flatruet and Mittodalen.
Vi är fyra stycken. Ja, ja men det går jättebra. Ja, vad bra. Jag eh, åkte precis ifrån det andra hemmet. Men eh, det är inga bekymmer. Du får inte urkoda mig så kan ni checka in så länge. Ja, jag tänker... Det är dags idag att åka vidare. Det blir en långkörare idag från eh, Ljungdalen över Flatruvet eh, till eh, Furnästalen och så, så mycket grus och skog som vi kan hitta förhoppningsvis till eh, Mora. Så ikväll blir det Mora. We didn't really get to Mora, but who cares about the destination? It's the way there that matters. We set off for a long day going over the mountains and try a little more Trans Sweden trail until we ended up in the dance band mecca Malung. Och elstad i mitten. Allting jag tar på mig den här tröjan så får jag en liten whiff av makrill. <laughs> we were actually so close to home now that we could make the journey back home in just one day. But we decided to stretch it to make just one more night. And so we headed for uh, Kungshamn and Sotenäs camping where Seymour uh, knew the owner and, and arranged for us the most suitable accommodation. So on our way we decided to scout some more parts of the Trans Sweden trail. Men där är det blå himmel, men det vi ska där ser det tyngre ut. Oops. Nej, det här ser inte så det, fast det är inte så långt ifrån. Man kan ju gå och kolla. Nej. Det var lasta upp här då. The hardest part is to continue the adventure and not feel like you're just going home when you get back to the neighborhood that you know a little bit better. 
We planned this trip half a year ago and the plan was to go to the Alps and Carpathians and find the gravel roads there. But because of Corona, we just said, ah, let's just go as far up north as we can and see what happens. Sista natten. The lover's nest. And things did happen. Not always positive, but that's part of the adventure, isn't it? It's like the old Swedish saying, det är inte hur du har det, utan hur du tar det. Which means, it's not what you get, it's what you make of it. There was one song that stuck to our head and we couldn't stop singing it for the major part of, of the journey south back home again. It really sums up your thoughts when you're coming down from the adventure mindset and you start to recognize the surroundings of your neighborhood again. Thank you so much for watching this series and there's more to come and here's that song again. Now what are you gonna do? <laughs> what are you